Hello and welcome back viewers to At Ease No Media, where we discuss media related topics at ease. After this long gap, I welcome you back with a brand new series. So, in this very first video, we will be knowing in details about the syllabus of NTA UGC NET. So, let's get started. So today in this video we will be talking about the syllabus of journalism and mass communication NTA UGC NET. The total number of units are 10 and each unit consists of 6 subparts or the subsections. So following with the first part is the introduction to journalism and mass communication where we will be understanding the concept of journalism and mass communication and mass communication in India. So the second part of unit 1 is First, we can divide the second part into three parts. That means, first of all, in this unit, we have to study the historical growth and development of print and electronic media, following with the major landmarks in print and electronic media in India. That means the Indian vernacular languages. This is basically the historical part. And finally, the media's role in different states, especially in India. So this syllabus is of mainly comprising of Indian history. This unit is of Indian historical part. Of. Now quickly moving to the third part of the first unit which is media criticism and media literacy. In this unit we have to study the media criticism and media literacy following with the press council and press commission of India, the status of journalism and media education in India which is very important. And finally, in this unit, we have to study media policies of the government of India since independence. That means, after independence, what policies have been changed. So, in this unit, we have to... Now, quickly moving on to the fourth part of the first unit, the introduction to journalism and mass communication, where we will be studying about the models and theories of mass communication, following with the normative theories, the administrative and critical traditions in communication, media journalism studies, communication and theories of social culture following with the education and agricultural change with the technological determination and finally there is a criticism of Marshall Macklin's view on media communication and this concept and this topic also consists of Marxist approach and the last part of the fourth section is the information and knowledge society so this is a quite informative part where we have to dig little deeper to understand each and every concept. Now quickly moving on to the next part of unit 1 where we will be studying the Indian tradition and approaches to communication from the Vedic era of 21st century. And this part also divided into the Western and Eastern philosophical, ethical and aesthetic preparations of communication. So this Eastern and Western part can be divided into this following terms that means the Aristotle and Plato's model, Hindu, Buddhist and Islamic tradition. So this part, the approaches, the traditional approaches has been divided into two parts, one Indian part and another Western and Eastern part. So now we will be moving to the next slide that means the last portion of unit 1 which is introduction to journalism and mass communication. Well now in the last part of introduction to journalism and mass communication we will be studying about media and culture. So media and culture can further be divided into two parts as you can see over here the framework for understanding culture in a globalized world. So the framework for culture in a globalized world. All right. Now the second part is globalization with respect to politic, economic and socio-cultural development in India. So the media and culture in our syllabus we have to study both the world's perspective and Indian perspective. Simple. First of all we will be studying about the globalized world perspective, the media and culture. Then we will be coming back to our own nation that means the cultural development of Indian socio-economic and politics. Finally moving to the second unit which is the communication for development and social change. Here we have to study five parts. So the unit 2 section A consists of five parts that means the concept and definition. So first of all we must be cleared about the concept and definition of development communication what development communication actually is. 
After that, after completing the first part, we will be moving to the role of media and journalism in the society. As the main subhead suggests that communication for development and social change, so we must know how journalism and media is changing the society. Finally, characteristics of Indian society, so we live in India, we are Indian students, so we must know the characteristics of Indian society. What part consists of Indian society, the demographic part, the sociological impact of communication will be studied in this particular model. After that, we will be studying about media and journalism in detail, more about the social change. And finally, the last part of the subsection A of Unit 2 is media and specific audiences, that means targeting the audiences. So we are moving on to the next part, that is the communication for development and social change second part where we will be discussing about the development and social change so don't get confused development and social change is a huge topic by itself so the next part after completing the development and social change we have to study about the issues of post-colonial conceptions so this is also related with the history stuff but the development and social change everything is related in an historical perspective so my plan is to complete each and every topic in a systematic way. So let's see and let's hope for the best. Well now in this part we have to study about the dominant paradigm. Remember dominant paradigm? Here dominant paradigm in a different way. We have to study about the deconstruction of dominant paradigm of communication and development. So this is not it. Also we have to study the responses and critique of dominant models. So here in the third section of unit 2, we have to cover these two topics. So viewers, let's just quickly move on to the fourth section of unit 2. We must remember this unit 2 consists of communication for development and social change. So social change can be made with corporate social responsibilities that is CSR. What is CSR we will be discussing in the particular video of this topic. So for now let's just analyze the syllabus. So the syllabus after completing the CSR we have to quickly move on to the non-state actors in development, mass campaign by NGOs, the government of India, following with the international agencies and corporates. Finally, in this topic, finally in this section, we have to be very much knowledgeable about the paradigms and discourses of development communication. So this particular unit is of development communication and we must not forget about the social change. So social change can be implemented only by the peers. So the peer, the peers responsibility. So this is all interrelated and interconnected. So for development, we must know the social change element and for social change, development is a must have. Now viewers, in the fifth part of unit 2, we will be discussing about the emergence of global civil societies following with the public sphere, national communication policies and finally we will be talking about the global communication system, national state and universal. So this is in this particular topic, in this particular section, we have to focus on basically four parts. As far as social change is concerned, we cannot forget the leading influencers of social reformers in India. Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Pandit Madan Mohan Malve, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Jyoti Phule, Mahatma Gandhi, Acharya Binoba Bhave, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, Dindayal Upadhyay, and Dr. Ram Mohanahar Lohai. Well, so in this section, we have to study about their historical contribution in India, how they have contributed for the social change. Each and every separate individual and many more are also there but these are the prominent figures which we have to study to crack NTA UGC net. Now after completing the second unit we have to move to the third unit which is reporting and editing. We all are familiar with reporting and editing part. So reporting and editing comprises of news. 
so here we have to study about the concept the determinants the structure and prospective of news finally we have to go dig a little deeper into reporting part that means reporting for print reporting for radio television and digital media along with the other types of reporting finally in this unit section a we have to study about news agencies the national international the features of news agencies the syndicates and the functions and roles of news agencies so in this subsection a of unit 3 reporting and editing we can broadly divide this section into three part that means news reporting and news agencies now the second part of reporting and editing states mainly focus on the writing abilities so here the student or the aspirants will be clearly guided about the writing part writing for print writing for electronic and digital new media so not every writing demands the same style for print some separate principles some separate formats must be followed for digital media separate formats must be followed so one must not be get confused about print media and electronic media writing journalistic writing is definitely demands a separate kinds for each and every genre after that student must focus on reporting editing translation and transcreation part so we all know what is the meaning of translation and transcreation means translating with something new it's a part of translation so this we will be discussing later on in later videos in details so basically the second part consists of writing principles how to write where to write in what format to write these are all comes under the second part of reporting and editing to be a good reporter one must know the art of writing in a efficient way now after writing part we must not ignore the presentation part writing is though important but editing and presentation what to keep and what not to keep what to say and what not to say must be well expertized so in this third subsection here we will be teaching about the editing and presentation techniques for print television and digital media so editing techniques for print digital media as well as television so in this subsection we will be mainly focusing on editing and presentation techniques so after touching the technical part of reporting and editing we will be moving to the professional part that means journalism and profession the reportage of contemporary issues and the ethics of reporting so the fourth section of reporting and editing will be of the professional aspects now let's quickly move on to the fifth part of reporting and editing which talks about the critique of western news value and the effect of new technology on global communication flow global communication flow means the flowing of information in this informative age it's easily possible to access the news of the other part of the globe so this is only possible due to the liberalization of all the government policies so that means the global flow of communication which will be discussed in this subsection so here in the last part that means the sixth section of reporting and editing we have to study about niche reporting so every detail about niche reporting will be discussed in this last section now in the next unit that is the unit 4 of advertising and market communication this part can also be divided into many sub parts that means the definition of advertising and market communication the concept the functions the types evolution of advertising the standards and ethics in advertising finally in this part we will be talking about the theories and models of communication in advertisement that means the section a consists of this several parts now section b of advertising and market communication is of brand management so this brand management is itself a huge concept so the second part is only of brand management after brand management we must know advertising management and advertising management consists of the agency role the structure and functions of advertisement and the client agency relationship is very important in advertising management finally the last part of advertising management is media planning and budget advertising is 
quite expensive so the resource the budgeting is very much important in managing advertisement because what to advertise and how to advertising in which media in which channel and which how much amount to be involved in this particular advertisement this particular things must be arranged and managed beforehand to get the ultimate roi roi means return on investment so advertisement is an investment so to make the most out of it this things must be cleared beforehand so this is the role of managing advertisement after ad management there comes the role of creativity so advertisement and creativity along with the language and translation so language and translation some use of mixed regional words with english that means the hindi english match bengali english match or something like that so with creativity not only a particular language is meant can be used in advertisement it's a mix and match purpose so creativity comes with mix and match and advertisement is the all about creativity now let's move on to the next part which is the campaign part advertisement campaign and marketing so in this fifth part of advertising and marketing communication here we will be learning about the campaign strategies and the marketing strategies finally we will be studying about advertising and market communication so the syllabus is so well designed without marketing strategies and research we cannot understand what advertising really is that means the research part for whom the advertisement may be crafted who are the target audience and to whom this advertisement is being published is done by a pre research form so how to do that research part how to do the marketing research as well as advertising research will be taught in this particular section now let's quickly move on to the fifth section or the fifth unit where we will be discussing about the public relation and corporate communication the first sub unit of public relation and corporate communication is about public relation and corporate communication that means the corporate relationship so the definition concepts and scope will be discussed over here now moving on to the second part that is the structure of pr in state public private and non government sectors here we will be discussing about the structure of pr how pr works the structuralism everything will be discussed in the second part so moving on to the third part that means the different tools and techniques of pr tools like the the communicating tool the corporate relationship how to maintain it so different kinds of tools and the communication style will be discussed in this particular section which is tools and techniques remember tools and techniques of peer and corporate communication now let's quickly move on to the fourth part that is the crisis communication and crisis communication management the main part the main role of a peer is to handle such odd situations the crisis situations so how to handle the crisis situations will be taught in this particular subsection of public relation and public relation communication now we will be moving on to the next part that is the ethics of public relation so in this section the ethics the principles and everything related with every ethical stuff related with public relation will be discussed well so the last part of public relation and corporate communication is the international relation and communication audit so as the name suggests the international public relation so public relation is not only limited with the domestic purpose public relation must also be maintained with international publics so in this particular section we will be teaching or we will be understanding the concepts of public relation internationally and finally the communication audit so this was the half syllabus of nta ugc net as discussed earlier nta ugc net is of 10 units the video is getting too long hence the next 5 units will be discussed in the next video so keep watching at ease no media where we discuss media related topics at ease